Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy coming back at you with another video with Call of Duty around the corner and sort of hopefully a revitalization maybe of the channel. I don't know. I'm going to be working on some stuff. But one of the cool features I have brought back, which was a common feature of my channel uh, when I streamed Halo, was the new. a lot of people really liked the noodles program. They loved having a loyalty system in chat and I have found a better solution brought to you by Streamlabs. Uh, they made this and I think it's cool and I'm making this video because it's sort of new. It's not going to be something you see in chat. It's going to be something that you have to just easily connect to basically just uh, connect your Twitch account to it and it will work. Right now I'm actually streaming and recording this at the same time because I need to I need to be live for this system to be active. This is also nice, so people can't, like, farm noodles after or before I'm done streaming. It's all while I'm live. After that, the system shuts off. Basically, uh, behind the scenes, you won't see anything in chat. The way the system works is uh, it's totally an overlay, and it's only if you want to see it. So all you have to do to see this uh, system in action is you hover, uh, hover your mouse over the screen, and then you hover over this button right here. And this button basically is just uh, a UI option that basically when you open it, gives you a whole bunch of things that I can do with this channel. I'm going to have a song queue eventually. Uh, you can request a song. I'm going to have more rewards than this in the future. But basically, uh, the way I have it set up is, and you can change this if you're a streamer, a content creator, you can change this however you want. I'll show you the menu and how to do that in a little bit. But basically, uh, I have it set so you earn one noodle every minute. And then you can redeem, after clicking this, brings you to a menu, you can redeem this for any reward the streamer chooses. Um, I can see this uh, system expanding in the future, so maybe modifiable um, rewards and stuff like that unique to each channel. Right now there's a basic set. Uh, like a follow back on Twitter, you can redeem for however noodles the streamer picks. It can be like 500, 5,000, whatever. Or whatever, uh, there's a certain set of options right now, but I can see this expanding in the future. Uh, and then another way to earn noodles is to play mini games. So if I'm going to play the Scratcher mini game, then you can choose however many noodles you want to play with and right here this is how many noodles I have. Uh, those of you who may have been watching the past stream or two have already earned some noodles because I had it behind the scenes I hadn't fully set it up though. So this is kind of the big reveal. So basically I'm going to gamble 19 noodles. Choose six spots or uh, with a scratch off below and the winning slots will be revealed. So basically you just choose six random spots. It's basically like a lotto. And I guess there's only three options there. So that's basically how that works. It's just a mini game where you can pick a card. There's other mini games I'm gonna have too. Like I chose that card. Think of it as a lottery. If you guys are like 18 and older, I'd ever played like a scratch off. That's basically what this is. You have a certain you're risking your gambling noodles to gain an increased reward or you might lose them so that's how you do that uh, let me know if you guys in the comments down below any other options you want with this system uh, and I'll see if I can do them like any suggestions and I'll keep uh, an eye on them for the future I really like this because it's highly customizable and it's not in chat so the chat's not going to be stand with noodle commands it's all done in your own Nobody else sees what's going on. This only appears on your screen. This application is completely individual from anyone else watching. So if you like were to play a scratcher game, nobody else can see what you're doing or see the noodles you earn. Also, uh, from what I can see here, every time you earn a noodle, and so every minute you watch, the plus one noodles is going to pop up in something. And then also another feature I have on to this system is there will be chests which basically is a little icon on the screen anywhere you it'll pop in a random place 
on this screen here. And I'm not going to wait. I think I have it set to like once every five minutes, and I haven't really spotted one yet. But basically, a chest will pop up, and if you click that, it will give you a randomized amount of noodles, kind of like a jackpot. If you click it, and it'll be there for about 10 seconds before it disappears, and you have to wait another five minutes or so and try to find it. I think it's randomized a little bit too, so that's really cool. So basically, oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff to do. These are amount of noodles you have, or however, if you're a content creator, how many ever uh, things you want in yours, or whatever uh, name you want for yours, excuse me. And if you are a content creator, how you set this up is you go to Streamlabs, and you basically connect your account. So we're just going to go to the home. I guess this is what shows up for me. <laughs> so basically, you're going to go to the home, and there's going to be a big button on the front that says, like, hey, I want to log in, connect your Twitch account, and it's really quick. It takes about 10 seconds. Just put in your Twitch account, and it'll register. And then you scroll down. You'll see this uh, menu bar here. You won't see all of this yet. But you will have this menu bar here, and then scroll down to Community and Growth, and then Twitch Extensions. Go to Overlays and Loyalty. And then it will take you through a variety of steps to add a Twitch overlay to your stream. It takes about two minutes. Uh, it'll walk you right through it. It does a very good job at explaining. If you guys get confused, leave a comment down below. I'll try to help you out. Uh, but basically, after you go through the whole process of hooking up everything, you come to this screen right here. This is how you are going to change how many noodles people earn, or what do you want, or how many points people earn, or what do you want to call them. You can, it's fully customizable. Uh, like mine is currently noodles. You can set the frequency and how many you earn during that time period. There's some other options. You can even ban users from earning noodles if they've been in your channel and you don't want them earning anything for some reason. Uh, chests, right now I have, I'm going to increase that to 15 noodles. This is how you modify chests, how often they appear, percentage of viewers getting chests, and the uh, chest duration. So only a certain number of people will receive that chest at a certain amount, or a certain point, or will have the opportunity. Um, you'll The rewards on here are customizable. So basically, I have like mod for a day right now. Ask a question, although you guys can ask me those anyways. It's kind of pointless. Just a test. Mod forever. I may shorten that. I'm probably going to lower that. But we'll see. I've always been kind of iffy on the mod, on the mod policies. But um, I'll consider that. So basically, if you guys want any of these options right here, if you guys want me to make a Snapchat, or anything, let me know, and uh, I'll look into it. But yeah, basically, this is fully customizable. And while you are streaming, uh, I've, I'm currently helping, trying to help a streamer out right now. Uh, if you are streaming, one of the big things that I've heard is that they don't really use have a way to view this right now, or they don't want to have another window open. What I use. This is basically what my screen looks like. So we're going to go just hide that. This is what I'm looking at. I have three monitors set up. I have a gaming monitor in the middle. I have one monitor to the left used for whatever the hell I want. And then to the right, I'm going to see this. I have my chat popped out right here. And then I have my OBS, so I can monitor how that's going to change anything on the fly. And then I also have this. And basically, this is a widget. This is a program you can download. It's just a Streamlab, uh, Streamlabs extension. You can download that. Um, and basically, it's the same thing as going to streamlabs.com and going and viewing all of these pretty much, just simplified so you can monitor anything you want on the fly. You won't be able to really change anything with the reward system. However, you will be able to monitor your uh, system. You can monitor your follows, posts, uh, subs, donations, anything you want. 
Um, I really like this, so I don't have to go on Google and search streamlabs.com and then go to streamlabs. I have a little shortcut. Uh, it's this thing right here uh, that I basically just pop up and I'm good to go. Um, here's where you're going to redeem your rewards. So if you have any rewards for your stream, you can just hit a button and it's done and your reward is redeemed or the viewer's reward is redeemed. If you're doing like a mod or anything, I think you'll have to manually mod them or do anything if you're doing that. But a lot of other stuff is automatic. Uh, here you can view your uh, song queue if you have a song requests or viewers can submit a song for a certain amount. And then you can also do giveaways and polls. And I think, I guess polls don't have, I've seen contests before where, uh, in other systems where it's like, oh, if, do you think I'm going to win or lose this match? And then people bet on that and they will earn a certain amount of noodles depending on if I win or lose. So I have seen that. But it doesn't seem like they have that for now. Although this program is very basic right now. I think it's very simple. What I like about it is it's not in my chat. It's out of my chat. My chat's not going to be spammed. I don't have to sift through uh, my uh, night bot or in this case probably be Streamlabs bot or whatever. I don't have to sift through those messages anymore. I can just see who's talking in chat and then nobody else can see what's going on if you're a viewer. So this is totally optional. You will not see this on the stream if you do not want to have it. Um, basically just don't hover your cursor over the screen and it'll, it won't pop up. And even if you do, it's just a little box in the lower right hand corner that pops up and disappears if your cursor is not over the stream. Like I'm watching a streamer right now and she has it implemented and then I can just click that, pick a card, whatever. And then you can go from there. So nobody else sees what you're doing. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions about this, the only reason I'm posting this is because I think it might be a little helpful for those trying to set this up or at least learning how to um, set this up efficiently and view what's going on efficiently. Um, any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I am terrible at closing out videos. Nah. I don't know. I'll catch you guys later, though. Peace out.